Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're joining me for the first time. My name is Sasha Reed. Today I've got an Alina Cuddle or Alina Crafts design team um, project share for you. I've designed two different projects today um, and I can't wait to show you what I've been up to. So the first ones I want to show you have to do with all of these products. So um, we've got these background dies which are amazing. They're beautiful. They cut really nicely, but if you do cut them with thicker cardstock, um, just be aware you should probably put some kind of foam or something else underneath it um, just to kind of cut it super well because it is very intricate. Um, but yes, so these cut really nicely with pretty much anything, um, but with thicker card, make sure you use a bit more. And then I used the words because, then get well soon, and friends. She had a whole ton of word dies come out um, last release, and they are awesome. These are from her new release, so we've got these sh shiny, sparkly um, diamond things, these pearls. Um, this is from AliExpress. This is just a stacking rectangular set, and you'll see what I've done with these in a minute. I'll explain. And then I've got some um, of the jewels from BB Crafts, which I will also link below, um, which they sent me from my design team package. So the first one I have to show you is this card here. So what I wanted to do was make use the um, background dies as a background. So this paper here is the ombre paper that I got from the works a while back and all I did was die cut this one here and then stick it down. Now it helps to put sticky back adhesive on your paper before you cut it but then again it makes your paper thicker so you need to make sure you put something underneath it to kind of um, boost its ability to cut through it all. Uh, so I stuck some sticky back on the back of there and then you can see the little jewels I've put on there. Sorry, my lighting's not amazing today. Um, I stacked the word friend three times and I used some pearlescent black to do that. And then this is the border I was showing you. So all I did was I took two rectangular dies um, and then I taped them together using masking tape. And at first I taped just two sides and then I found my dies kept slipping around and I kept getting wonky uneven borders. So I just went for the full-on tape and just taped the whole lot together. Um, and all you have to do is to stick two together and then you get this nice thinner border. But this border here is the perfect width for Alina's 5mm tape. So this is from her shop. It is excellent foam tape, I'm telling you. I've had quite a few different ones. I like them on a roll more than um, like sticky squares or anything like that just because I can go all the way around if I want to and manipulate it. But it's really, really sticky foam tape. I've just bought some more. Alina sent this one to me in my design team package and I think I've ordered another two or three just because it is so good and I love making shaker cards. And I really love a thinner um, foam tape. So her sale is on right now. It ends on the 23rd. So please make sure to pop on over. The tape is on offer, so I got a couple rolls for myself. But this is really good. It's probably the best tape I've ever used. And that's what I used here um, on my edge to pop that up. So you've got this kind of dimensional border going on. Um, so that was my first card. Then my next card I did get well soon. And then you can see I've used those pearls from Alina's shop. Just try and catch the light just right. I'm sat near the window. Trying to get some good light going on. And again, this is three layers with the black pearlescent card um, just stacked on top. And all these words cut out really, really nicely. And this one, instead of using the um, ombre paper in the background and cutting the top out in white, I cut the pattern out um, in the ombre paper instead. So you can see that that's the, the difference between those two. Um, what was I going to tell you about this one? Oh, with this. So to shape the word, all I did was I used a bit of that, um, what is it called, post-it note tape I've shown you before. And I just put the die on the post-it note tape upside down and curled it and then made sure that those two lined up. And then I took my post-it note tape, well I put glue all over the back of it, put my post-it note tape down, 
gave it a firm press and used the post-it note tape to hold that down. And then I put um, some stamping blocks on top just until it dried and it worked a treat. <laughs> so that's how I did that get well soon curved. Then my last one is this one, which I love. I went and put a jewel on every single flower and I did it after I put the word because on it. And I like this because you could just say because it's your birthday, because something, you know, like because I, I thank you loads or something like that. They're all blank on the inside. And this is all the pearlescent cardstock from Lime Tree Crafts. Um, but these are the jewels that I've got from BB Crafts. So you get six sheets of these jewels, three different sizes. And that's what I used on here. So you can see all of those jewels and they stuck brilliantly. Um, but I love this font from Alina's dies. They're so beautiful. So those are my first set of cards which I'm really, really happy with. They turned out really lovely. Um, now, the next thing I did was I set myself a challenge. And basically, I wanted to make a mini album. And I've got a huge stash of stuff. And I just thought, what, like, how am I going to decide what to use? So I set myself a challenge. I picked a bunch of stuff, and then I thought, I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to use stuff I've not used yet. And I'm just going to have fun and I'm going to make a mini album. So these are some of the dies that I used. Memories, um, that one there. I'm just going to show you them all now. And then I'm going to show you my mini album that I made. So um, I've used this one a few times now. Is that the right way around? There we go. Um, I really like this stamp set. And then I used this paper pack. So I picked one paper pack and went with some of the colors from in there. So I went with that kind of pinky color. I went with the browns. I went with the craft color. And I think that's roughly about all I used. And so I set myself a challenge to make a mini album. So here we are. I will show you what I did. So here's my little book. Now what I did with this, I'm sorry, this is getting caught there. I'll zoom in a bit. Uh, yeah, I'll zoom in a bit. Come on, there we go. So what I did with this book was I cut every page and made the base of this book. I'm gonna have to zoom out again, aren't I? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Using this set here. So this is the postage stamp sort of set. So I took the largest die, which is this plain rectangle, and I cut the whole entire book with that. Then for the front cover and the back cover, I stuck two pages together. So the front cover is extra thick and the back cover is extra thick. And then I just kind of layered all the pages using all the rest of the dies from the set. So I will show you. Now my closure, I've left it a bit loose because I want to be able to put some more stuff in possibly. But this is the closure that I got. You can see my fingers are inky from <laughs> inking this up today. This is the um, elastic cord from BB Crafts that I was showing you. So I just doubled it up because I've got so much of it. And then I dyed it. And I dyed it the pink and the brown that I used in the book. Now the pink came out more like purple and the brown came out more like black because I put too much ink on it, which is why my hands are all covered. <laughs> but you can color the cord, which works quite well. So I've colored the cord. And then I've got these little clasps that I also got from BB Crafts which is exactly what I got them for. I wanted to make book closures with them. So I've got those little clasps, and then all you have to do is stick it through that little hole, like so, and then you can open the book. So I will walk you through what I made and what I kind of put on it. Any questions, if I've missed anything, pop me a comment below and I'll let you, um, I'll answer for you. Um, this is Story, which is cut out of, from Alina's dies, um, so one of her word dies. And then this is using the glitter card from BB Crafts as well. You can see the glitter. Um, and then I've stacked up the middle bit on an extra bit of card. So this bit here is like bumpy because I've stacked it. So it kind of gives you a bit more character. Then this is some um, of that really pretty lace from Alina's site, which I've not really been bothered by, but all of a sudden I've started using it and I've really fallen in love with it. So I bought three rolls of that in her sale as well, because this stuff is on sale. So I sandwiched it in between two pages 
um, and then glued it shut. So that's just poking out the middle. So I made that as my cover. Um, then I'll zoom out again and hopefully you're seeing this on a big enough screen that you can see all this. So my first page is just here and this is just layering them back together. So I, I cut it out, it cuts out this frame and then I put some paper inside. So I kept all the frames. Um, I think I cut one of every page from that paper pack and then I used them on various pages. Now this page I wanted to make like a little pocket flap. So I found these little clips in my stash that match the pink perfectly. And then I used the triangular set here just to make this kind of different flap. And then I decorated the inside with some of those cute little embellishments, the sunshine and the moon and stuff. Um, and basically the idea is that I could put some pictures in here and kind of fill it up. I got some photos printed, but they're, they're 10 by 10, but I think that's still too big. Let me just see, they're right here. So I've got these little 10 by 10 photos that I could trim down a bit and fit in the, in the inside and have like a little mini album. Um, but anyways, I've decorated the pages like that. And then I did a little pocket down here using this die, which is, um, I don't think I brought it in, but <laughs> as a sneak peek, can you tell what's gonna be coming up at the end of the video? <laughs> so I use this die here to do that little border and I just glued just the size and that bottom bit. And that bottom bit there, I use this super duper thin tape from Alina, Alina store. It's the thinnest one she sells. And it's absolutely brilliant because it's just the same thickness as that border down there. Um, so this is perfect. I love this. I use this loads on my mini album. Really fantastic, super sticky. And I use the thicker version as well in my mini album. So I made those little pockets. Then I made these tags. These tags are from, these two are from Alina, from her shop. They're my favorite tags in the world. Um, I didn't bring the stamp sets in, <laughs> I totally forgot about that, but this is from one of her stamp sets and um, this is from one of her releases about shopping, so I've put the mannequin on there. And then this little sentiment um, is from one of her sentiment sets as well, so you can read that if you like. Um, and then they're just blank on the back. So I made those little tags to go in there. Um, and then this is one of her little pearls and this is the glitter card from BB Crafts on there um, and that's just um, a, a big die from just from somewhere <laughs> I don't know where and then I made a little pocket in here again there's one of Alina's um, stamps and I made a little pocket and I used the same paper and I made it sort of double-sided another one of her stamps again um, and then this is that die I was showing you earlier this one here and I made the little top bit for it. And then I added some Wink Estella just to that middle bit on both sides. You can see that. Um, so that's the little pocket for it. And you can put a little message inside or a photo on there or a photo on there. Um, and then I stuck that in. And then I just took a white gel pen and I did sort of the edges of that. And it's on the white paper. I drew a line, but I don't think you can see it. Or the cream paper, I should say. Um, then this one... Uh, is this one is that really pretty die that I used before on my other project. That one there. This is the one I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this one. I absolutely love it. But this, I just cut a brown bit of paper, brown bit of card, and then cut that on the top and it fit in this album really well. And then I have also Wink of Stella just the top part. You can see that. Um, and then these are stickers from AliExpress, vellum stickers. Now, another little exciting bit. Ta-da! <laughs> so stick around to the end! <laughs> um, then inside this pocket, I put a little card which says Life is Beautiful and it's got Alina's stamps on there. And it's on pearlescent card. All my, my pearlescent card comes from Lime Tree Crafts. So I absolutely love it. It's a UK based shop. So you won't be able to get it anywhere else I'm afraid. Um, so yeah. And then this is where I've used this thin tape. So on every single one of these pockets. I've used this tape. It is so strong and so good. And so thin. So this is not me promoting Alina. Because I love her to bits. But this is me promoting it. Because this is the best tape ever. And I've used it on every single one of these pockets. It's so thin and strong. It's brilliant. Um, this is a vellum sticker from AliExpress and then this is her stamp set that's this one here 
and it has a matching die. Oh, I did bring the die. So it's got this matching coordinating die. You can see it a bit better. Um, and it's got really awesome sentiments in it as well. And so what I did there was I made a little pocket. Um, oops, I'm not going to be able to get it out because I'm trying to do it while watching myself on the camera to make sure I'm in screen. There we go. So that just slides out. Um, these are Stampin' Up! stamps and it's on pearlescent card again and I've left the black blank but all I did was I took that really thin tape that I've showed you and I just taped just the edge there and then I left that bit open and it die cuts beautifully around the stamped image so I really loved those and I thought this was really clever <laughs> I was pretty proud of myself because I picked a stamp that when I stuck it in you could see the sentiment and the flowers covered it so I was really happy with that um, and then that's the last page and on the back I just stuck on some more little fun bits just for fun I could put a picture on there or something and then I've stuck in brads or eyelets I should say and so my cord goes through there like that on my back page and then it comes around and straps shut and so I could put some more stuff in it and it's got a bit of extra wiggle room so that's my closure on there and then I've used my um, cinch binding tool and I punched all the holes and bound it with my wire binding um, so that is my mini album and I hope you enjoyed it um, now if you stuck around to the end and you paid attention in the video I have got some giveaways for you so Lena kindly sent me um, a couple of bits to pass on to you. So there are two of these ones and two of these. So if you would like to enter in this giveaway, then please comment below and say something along the lines of enter me please. It is open to anyone in the world and I will pick four winners because I have got two of each die. So please do um, have fun, enter below. I will be doing the prize draw um, a week today. So it will be the following Thursday, which I'll put the date on the screen below, and I will do it at 9 p.m. And that will be the closing time. So if you'd like to enter, comment enter me below, and I will do a prize draw for anyone. I will use um, Google's random number generator, and I will pick four of you for winners. Um, please do keep an eye on my channel, because for some reason YouTube always deletes when I say email me or anything to do with email in my comments. So watch my channel for my announcement of who the winner is. I will do a separate video, I will announce who the winners are, and I will get you to email me your address, and I will pop them in the post. So thanks for joining me today. Happy crafting. Bye.